Nathan Kent, the black and red, represents the farm Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Drove halfway across the state from Greeley, Colorado to be here facing off against Chris Lucia, who represents Child's Play MMA wearing the black and the yellow. Lucia drove across the street to be here because he's <laughs> from Parker. And we are off with the touch of the gloves in this 140-pound bout. And Lucia scores nicely with an overhand right. And then Kent scores just as nicely with a knee strike, which is illegal. In the amateur or the elimination division in Colorado, you cannot knee to the head of an opponent at any time. And that's exactly what uh, Mr. Kent did. So referee Eric Hines says, all right, time back in. And an apology from Mr. Kent. And Kent shaking off that hard left hand. He's poking away at his eye. And Lucia goes for the spin attack there. And gets the nice takedown by way of trip and head control. And Ron, look at that scramble. Holy hell. Jumping back control by Lucia. Wow. The action is fast and furious. And now we've got Nathan Kent on top of Chris Lucia. And he is throwing some bombs from the top and looking to step over. And what a scramble. <laughs> Beautiful transition by Ken in order to get this position. And full mount now for Ken. And he is going to flurry hard. Coming out of the farm Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu school. You know he's got the ground game going on. And Kent was in a world of trouble. And he's absolutely showing that the ground is his world. Wow. This is unbelievable action. And finally, both guys take just enough time to get a deep breath and now looking to attack for the either Kimura or the sweep. And both of them think about a knee, neither one of them throws it. Good job by the fighters being aware of where they are now. And Lucia eats a couple of hard shots. Corner of Lucia saying, you got to keep your hands up for me. And Nathan Kent right now throwing and landing some hard shots right now on Chris Lucia. And I'm sure that... This fight right now is starting. Oh, and a big, oh, big hard shots landing right now. Knees and hard hooks landing right now from Nathan Kent and Chris Lucia digging deep right now, fighting for his friend. And you hear your corners say it all the time: punch when you separate. And that's what worked so very well for Kent there. And now Lucia doing a good job listening to his corner, throwing the correct combinations. And I think this fast pace starting to have a little bit of wear on Lucia at least. Kent slowed down a little bit, but Lucia taking some hard shots here and a lot of blood coming out of the nose of Mr. Lucia. Yeah, and, and we're seeing Nathan Kent right now doing a lot of stuff that we uh, that we're seeing uh, scramble wise it's unbelievable what's going on in here in this in this cage jr it's actually s to the point where it's hard to see who's got the advantage and lucia doing a nice job trying to reach around the waist from behind almost had wrist control that would open up some opportunities for him but lucia takes a couple of hard shots and it's an unfortunate thing to say but lucia is showing off his chin right now he is but he's, he's he's looking tired right now both these guys are throwing heavy hard shots right now and they're looking to land haymakers the one thing that I don't like that I'm seeing with Nathan Kent. He's keeping that chin way up in the air. And as much as his chin is up, Lucia's hands are down. So this is not going to bode well for someone. But my goodness, are these guys putting it on for the fans this evening. Oh. And Kent lands a crushing right hand and almost falls over because of it. Holy cow, what a first round. My goodness. Chris Lucia spitting out his mouthpiece, basically showing some signs of fatigue right now after this first round. Nathan Kent taking some labored breaths as well, but not, not as bad. So easily a, a, a part burner of a first round, my goodness. 
Both these guys getting instruction right now from, from each of their corners. As referenced earlier, excuse me, as referenced earlier, Chris Lucia fighting for the memory of his friend Jason who passed away recently. We discussed that during the media day and, uh, you know, very heavy heart for him, but, you know, kudos to him for showing up here and, and putting it on the line. I'm sure his friend Jason would be proud. Absolutely, and if he needs a little added encouragement, just has to think about that. That'll help him dig deep, and referee Eric Hines is going to call these fighters to the, uh, well, he's going to say to the center, but no, he's pushing them back to their corner, and Kent with his hands down by his waist, taking deep breaths. Looks like Lucia recovered well. That's something that a lot of trainers work on really hard is the recovery between rounds, and oh. that recovery served Lucia well because look at him go to start round two. These guys are scrapping right now. They're standing there and trading. Lucia begins the round with a 47-punch combination. <laughs> <laughs> and Kent now looking to take it to the mat. We saw how good he was in the scrambles there, but Lucia going for head control, and I wonder if Lucia punched himself out a little bit there. I just saw that same yeah. expression on his face. Maybe he came out saying, hey, I got to end this right now. Oh, and he bounced his head hard off the canvas, did Lucia. That'll put him a little bit loopy, and again, just a really nice knee slicer pass there for Kent. That was the same thing that he used in round one, and immediately to full mount. And so we're going to see what Lucci has left in the tank here because he's going to have to expend some energy to get out of this position. These are those moments where you really got to dig deep and, and obviously everything feels like it's you know closing in and the air is going away from you, but you really got to find it within yourself. Somewhere it's in there. You got to find it within yourself to come back and, and bring everything you can to the party. And right now we're seeing Chris Lucci do that. And he did exactly that in order to get himself back up. And... Kent had a wide open shot at the body for some knee strikes, but didn't have the energy to get those feet up off the ground. So both these guys showing the wear of what took place in round number one. And no wonder, my goodness. And as much as they've slowed the pace here a little bit in round number two, they're still just tagging each other with tough shots. Uh, these guys are definitely slugging it out. I mean, both these guys are exhausted right now. Both these guys have really thrown everything at the wind here and, and they're, they're standing right in front of each other and they're going at it but uh both these guys are absolutely exhausted make no mistake about it oh and a hard, hard right shot in. and hard that's gonna right be in. it congratulations chris lucia by way of right hand goes home with the victory midway through round number two Chris Lucia lands an overhand right-handed bomb that sends Nathan Kent face first into the canvas and finishes the fight with a monster knockout. And again, this is exactly what I was talking about. This is, this is exactly one of those situations where you just got to find a way to dig deep. You have to find a way to win, and, and that's exactly what Chris Lucia did. And make no mistake about it, Nathan Kent was bringing a hell of a fight to Chris Lucia, but Chris Lucia fighting for a, ma a bigger cause tonight, I believe, and, and really showed that tonight and uh, gets the win. And you can see the emotion right now in Chris Lucia's face as he goes on to check on Nathan Kent out of pure class and sportsmanship. But that was a lights out right hand. It landed, all the faculties get shut off. Nathan Kent goes face down into the canvas, being checked on right now by Dr. Alex Constantinidis. And seemingly he's okay, but Doc Alex just making sure. What an unbelievable right hand. And like I said, kudos to, to Chris Lucia for for finding a way to really dig deep. I know that this fight meant a lot to him, but uh, but but he got it done. And as for Nathan Kent here, he put on a great fight as well. Very, very tough guy. Took a lot of shots. Stood in the fight. Showed some great ground skills and some major toughness and durability. But, uh, you know, when, when one of those big overhand rights lands perfectly with JR, there's not a whole lot anybody can do. No, you kind of wait for your corner to come in and help you back to your feet. Congratulate your opponent, and we're going to take it up to Sean. He'll give us the official word. One minute, 56 seconds of round number two. Referee Hines has got to stop to this fight. They clear any winner by Kale Lucia. Thank you.
had that left handy, man. I mean, I need to get out of the game. That was fun to watch, Joe. You know you're going against an opponent that's in his first fight ever, so you probably expect a brawl in the game. Yeah, you know, usually people in the first fight just come out swinging really hard. And no matter how much training you have, it gas is in control. Certainly, what's up next? Ah, uh, just keep going. I'm here because of my friend Jason Cohen. Uh, I love you, brother. You can't feel it without me. And uh, this is all for you. Hey, we've got round four stuff in the back. There's some electric guitar, an Xbox One. Go pick up some raffle tickets to try to win. Thank you for that. Some people you want to thank before you go. Uh, just Jason Cohen, my team, uh, and uh, my family. Congratulations on the victory. Give it up once again for the winner tonight, Chris Lucia.